There's a version of you that never sleeps in, never skips training, never wastes time. There's a version of you who never fails. It is waiting for you. Genuinely ask yourself a question, you at home. If you had done those things for the last two years, you never skipped a training, you never wasted time, you never scrolled TikTok, you never sat aimlessly on the internet typing in garbage, never played video games, you never wasted time. You never skipped training, you were training every single day. You never slept in, you were never lazy. There's this version of you. Imagine the person you would be. Genuinely imagine what you would look like. Imagine where you would live. Imagine the car you would drive. Imagine how much your woman would respect you. Imagine the love you would see in her eyes when she looks at you with adoration like a king. Imagine your existence. That person is waiting for you. And the only thing that's stopping you from being that person is your monumental laziness. You can have it. The universe is very giving. It will give you anything you work for. I've never seen somebody try for something with all of their might and not get it. The only people who do not have the things they want are the people who do not try for them. I've never seen a person wake up and say, my only dedication in life is to solve a Rubik's Cube and fail. You are not stupid. You are not incompetent. You are lazy and arrogant. One thing in life, this applies to everything in life. Anytime you move from being normal to trying to be exceptional, people aren't going to like that shit. Those normal people, it makes them feel like shit, so they're going to judge you. And nowadays, it's very easy to be a fucking coward. Why? We got Instagram and shit. Most folks don't tell you to your face. They go online, they post about like cowards. Don't let cowards get in your fucking head. And last thing, make sure you do you. Stay hard. You can be a top G. That's exactly what I did. I knew who I was gonna have to end up being before I became that person. My brother and I are not from rich families. We are not from advantaged beginnings. But I knew I had to be a big, strong, fighting billionaire. That's what I knew I had to be. Discipline is the key to success. If you cannot force yourself to do something you don't want to do, how are you ever gonna put yourself through the suffering required for greatness? If you cannot force yourself to train when you do not want to train, if you cannot force yourself to work when you don't wanna work, if you can't force yourself to not log into Pornhub or force yourself to eat right, how can you possibly ever become a monumentally successful person if you cannot control yourself long enough to do what must be done as opposed to what you feel like doing? The only people who get to live their lives based on how they feel are women and children. On the journey, there's always be that motherfucker in the sewer you came from that's grabbing at your fucking ankle as you're leaving that sewer. That's when to drag you right the fuck back down because you figured it out. With success in life comes more haters. Don't make them hurt your feelings. Use them for fuel. Use them for energy. In times of need, put them on the fucking mental Rolodex in your mind. And when you don't want to do shit, roll through your brain. Pull up that motherfucker that you need. That person who said you couldn't do something. Weren't fast enough, good enough, smart enough, whatever the fuck it may be. Use it for energy. Instead of killing them with kindness, torture them with fucking success.